been a long time coming. But tonight, change has come to America. I will promise you this, that if we have not gotten our troops out by the time I am president, it is the first thing I will do. I will get our troops home. We will bring an end to this war. You can take that to the bank. That's why I have a plan that will bring our combat troops home by March of 2008. That's why I put forward a bill that would begin a phased redeployment and have all our troops out by March 31st of next year. Close down Guantanamo, restore habeas corpus. I intend to close Guantanamo and I will follow through on it. No more illegal wiretapping of American citizens. No more national security letters to spy on citizens who are not suspected of a crime. No more ignoring the law when it is inconvenient. Well, I think at this point he's perfected the art of forgetting Barack Obama the candidate. The Secretary of Defense, Robert Gates, said again yesterday that the U.S. would be willing to extend the U.S. military presence in the country. It's a plan Obama has already approved. Several tens of thousands of U.S. troops indefinitely staying in Iraq, not withdrawal in Iraq, potentially doubling forces in Afghanistan. And what is now November of 2011, Guantanamo Bay continues to be open for business. President Obama today proposed something new. Something called prolonged detention, indefinite detention without trial. That's what that's what this is. That's what President Obama proposed today. And U.S. President Barack Obama has signed the defense bill. So the last thing the president did in 2011 was sign a bill that pretty much does away with due process. That would authorize him to use the military to arrest people in the United States, to keep them from a lawyer, to keep them from right. a judge, to keep them from a jury, to lock them up for as sure. long as he wants. And he's even authorized the killing of a U.S. citizen. Tim Geithner has been picked as the next Treasury Secretary. Geithner's expected nomination were greeted with praise across Wall Street. Timothy Geithner appointed Mark Patterson, former top lobbyist for Goldman Sachs, as his chief of staff. Goldman Sachs was the largest domestic recipient of funds in this AIG counterparty arrangement. Joshua Bolton was actually the London office manager for Goldman Sachs. The chief of staff for Timothy Geithner today is someone from Goldman Sachs. Mr. Cash Carey, who's handling the TARP, he was from Goldman Sachs. I mean, is there anybody that isn't from Goldman Sachs? Especially when you add to it that when it was all said and done, Goldman's chief competitor in the bond market, Lehman Brothers, had been vanquished. And Goldman now had a monopoly on all fixed income trading basically in the world and was now the most profitable investment bank in the history of the world and is now not subject to any further regulation than they were prior to the crisis. So it's, nice, it's good to be Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs, who today announced that they have never been more profitable. Goldman Sachs netting $13.4 billion in 09, topping the firm's 07 record. William Lynn, he was the, appointed to the number two position at the Defense Department. William Lynn, also a former top lobbyist for Raytheon, one of the five largest defense contractors. Raytheon announced today that it has signed a $145 million contract. Raytheon has won a $68.6 .6 million contract. Raytheon announced today it has been awarded a $107 million U.S. Air Force contract. Raytheon announced Monday that its subsidiary, Raytheon Technical Services, has won a U.S. Army Forces Command contract. Raytheon Company announced today it has received a $1.7 billion contract. You can take that to the bank. The policies that will get us working again as a nation are policies I understand having worked in the private sector. In the first four years, this will grow the economy at approximately 4% per year for each of those four years. It will add. 11 and a half million new jobs for Americans. Number one on my list, Obamacare. I'll get rid of that on day one. I will cut, cap, and balance the federal budget. We're going to immediately cut all federal spending by 5%. I will insist on the military so powerful, no one would ever think of challenging it. Now, to see a guy change his positions on so many things so fast, on a dime. I was asked about the Massachusetts plan. Was it something I'd impose on the nation? And the answer is absolutely not. How do you ensure the 45 or 50 million Americans who are not on the books? Well, that's what we did in Massachusetts, and that is we put together an exchange, and the pr president's copying that idea. I'm glad to hear that. This is really taking what the Democrats have talked about, a Democratic goal that we share, which is getting everybody insured. Everybody should have insurance. This is something that was crafted for Massachusetts. It would be wrong to adopt this as a nation. Those who follow the path that we pursue We'll find it's the best path. And we'll end up with a nation that's taken a, a mandate. Of, of it. Number one on my list, Obamacare. I'll get rid of that on day one. I will preserve and protect a woman's right to choose and am devoted and dedicated to honoring my word in that regard. I was uh, always personally opposed to abortion. I am 
pro-life. No, TARP was the right thing to do. I think there is need for economic stimulus. I have never supported the President's Recovery Act, all right, the stimulus. No time, nowhere, no how have I supported the President's stimulus. Pro-choice. Pro-life, pro-gun control. Now he becomes a lifetime member of the NRA. He was pro-cap and trade. Now he's against cap and trade. He was pro-mandate for the whole country. Then he becomes anti-mandate and takes that page out of his book and republishes the book. And I can go on and on. The number one contributor to Barack Obama's super PAC is Goldman Sachs. The number one contributor to Mitt Romney's super PAC is Goldman Sachs. Mitt Romney stealing all of Barack Obama's big dollar Wall Street donors. A good chunk of his funds came from his buddies on Wall Street, like Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, and Bank of America. Raytheon announced today that it has agreed to sell its commercial laundry equipment business to private investment firm Bain Capital. Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney announced today that Raytheon has been awarded a $2.2 million dollar contract. Money plays a much more important role in what is done in Washington than we believe. To get that kind of money, you've got to cozy up as an incumbent to all of the special interest groups who can go out and raise money for you from their members. And that, that kind of relationship has an influence on the way you're going to vote, on the way you're going to vote. You can take that to the bank. President Obama will turn this country around. Excuse me, President Romney. President Obama. President Romney.